Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Leon and welcome to how to install plutonium IW5 aka Modern Warfare 3. What's going on? Uh, man, I'm extremely excited you're here with me. I'm going to show you the ropes on how to do it um, and you can basically replicate this on your own machine. Uh, so first thing that we're going to go ahead and get into, we're going to need to install some prerequisite stuff. So if you already have most of this stuff already installed, you can just go ahead and skip on the timeline in the video. You can actually hover over the actual time uh, inside the YouTube video and it'll actually give you little chapters that you can actually follow through or you can go in the description and click on the time yourself. So either way, let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing that we're going to need is Steam and Steam is uh, obviously, I, I don't know any PC gamer that hasn't heard of Steam, but you're going to need to go install it because uh, basically we need to pull the game files and the only way that, well, the best way to pull the game files, we're not going to say the only way, but the best way to pull the game files is through Steam. So we're going to go ahead and install it. Alrighty, and once we have Steam installed, you can go ahead and either create an account, or if you already have a Steam account, go ahead and log in. Alrighty, and we actually have Steam logged in here, so what we need to do is grab the game files. And how we're going to do that is we're going to grab the Modern Warfare 3 dedicated server. And what the dedicated server has, it has pretty much all the core game files they need, plus maps and the DLC maps that came out, such as Terminal, Erosion, and a Ground. So we're going to go ahead and pull that. What you're going to do is you're going to go to Library. And where this little games tab is, is a category selector, you're going to click on it and go to tools. That's going to give you a whole lot more options. And we're going to find the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 dedicated server. We're going to go ahead and install it. And keep in mind where you install it. Uh, most of the time it's on your C drive, but we'll get a little into that a little bit later. And actually, while we wait for this to install on Steam, what we're going to need to do is create a Plutonium account in order to actually play in the game. It's super simple and easy to do. All we're going to do is go to forms.plutonium.pw forward slash register, or the actual link is going to be in the description or in the pinned comment below. Go ahead and put in your email address, create your desired username, and please, for the love of God, use a strong password. That way, nobody can get into your account. If somebody breaches your account, do not, and, and if you get banned or anything like that, don't go to the ban appeal saying, oh, my account got hacked, blah, blah, blah. Go get you a good password. They've got a pretty secure web server. Don't give that excuse of if I get banned, it's because my brother stole my account or my little brother got on my computer. Secure your account, please, and just make sure you get a good password. And then just check off the CAPTCHA and hit register now. I would strongly advise to confirm your email address as it's going to be necessary to actually get into the launcher portion of it. So you're going to get an email from Plutonium. Please check your spam folder if you don't see it and then go ahead and uh, accept that and you should be good to go. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the actual install of Modern Warfare 3 or aka IW5. All right, and now that we're actually done downloading the dedicated server, we're going to go ahead and take this little icon here that should appear on your desktop. We're actually going to delete it because you don't need it. That's just the dedicated server shortcut. So we won't be using that today. So what we're going to do is go to File Explorer, and you're going to go to this PC. Go to Local Disk C, Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. These are the core files you're going to need for a little bit later. Go ahead and go into the Redis folder and install everything in here. Install this one and go in DirectX. Scroll down until you see DX Setup. This is just in case you don't have the necessary actual files to be able to play the game, as in DirectX. And cer there's certain applications that all work in conjunction with each other. So let's go ahead and make sure you install those. I'm not going to install them today because this uh, particular virtual machine does not need it. All right, of course, the moment you guys have all been waiting for. Now that you actually have the game installed, we're going to go ahead and install the Plutonium Launcher. So we're going to go to our web browser again. I have a little handy-dandy link here. This is the actual official install guide from Plutonium, but you don't have to get all of this information. You've already been through most of it. So what we do need, though, is we actually need the Plutonium updater. So we're going to go down here. This link will be in the description as well as the pinned comment, just like any other links that you guys may need. So we're going to go ahead and click on it, and it's going to download the plutoniumlauncher.exe, or plutonium.exe, rather. We're going to go ahead and open it, and go ahead and let it do its little updates. 
Alrighty, now that we've actually got the plutonium launcher up, you're going to go ahead and log in with those credentials that you created earlier. That's going to be your username and password that you set up on the forms. Alrighty, now that we're actually signed in, you should see a similar screen to this. Um, you can as well play even Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 2 Zombies from Plutonium. However, this video is just mostly focused on IW5. So what we need to do is click on the setup button. And this is really easy. A lot of people get confused on this one, but it's it's fairly easy. So we're going to click on, again, this PC, local disk C, program files x86, scroll down until you see Steam, go down to Steam apps, click on common, and then just click on the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 folder. That's all you need to do. You don't need to actually go inside of it. And then just click on just simply select folder. And boom, you're good to go. You could press the play button right now as we speak. And I'm going to show you guys a few settings in the game that you can adjust after this. So I'll be right back. Great. Now that we're actually in the game, I'm going to go ahead and show you a few things that you could do here. So one question that a lot of people have is, do I really have to rank up all over again? No. You don't have to. You can actually go to the barracks, and there's an unlock all feature down here. So it's pretty cool. You could do that. There's also a few things you could do. You can even customize your stats. You know, where, what do you want to do? Which prestige you want to go into? You know, it's really cool that you could be able to do this. Um, so we're not going to worry about that right now. But anyway, you can unlock all your stats. Let's go back to the main menu here. There is actually a friend section as well, uh, and you could pretty much see who's online from your plutonium account. All right, next up, we're going to go to options, and this is where you're going to basically adjust all your stuff. You're going to go to your resolution, depending on what kind of computer you have. If it's a not-so-great computer, you're going to want to keep your resolution a bit, little bit lower. Um, you also have tons of options here that you can modify. You could do whatever you want uh, and just basically cater it to how your PC can handle Modern Warfare 3. That's probably the best advice that I can give you. So... Let's go ahead and actually get into a game. So the way you actually get into games is a server browser. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. We're going to let them all load up. And I personally own the Nexus Core server. So if you guys would like to play on Nexus Core, you certainly can. So I'm going to go ahead and join it now. All righty. So I think people just got moab I don't know. Probably an EMP. But uh, yeah, so this is pretty much the game. I mean, it's, it's as simple as that. Getting into a game, whatever you guys want to do. You could try to go for Moabs. You could do stupid challenges all day. I mean, whatever you guys want to do, pretty much. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, I really appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching. I just killed Jace, and he's probably extremely upset. That's my homeboy. Eddie called me smelly. Okay, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and back out. <laughs> all right guys i really appreciate all your support make sure you like this video drop a sub if you uh want to get some more tutorials like this i've got some more news and information coming out of course about modern warfare 2 remastered multiplayer mod uh but anyway thanks for watching i really appreciate it i'll see you guys in the next one peace